we have reached the Niagara Falls State Park. Inside the state park, we are about to go to the Cave of the Winds ride. Cave of the Winds is our journey. I'm ready, Hachi. We have put on the waterproof vest and also a fresh pair of shoes. This is the uniqueness about Niagara. All for ten dollars. We are queued up for a ride. Cave of the Winds. The sun has just come out after a torrential rains this afternoon, followed by hailstorms and thunder showers. Trolley bus takes you around the park. Oh. <laughs> She's saying hi to you. See the big water? <laughs> I'm going to see oh. the big water. She is uh, 17 months. Oh, yeah. Came down the elevator 175 feet below, which is the equivalent of 17 stories. I'm walking down. Niagara Falls and full flow. Ah. And we'll soon be walking down those stairs. That's the view of Canada. The observation deck. You can see the smoke. What are you? That's how the water flows. Waterfall. Before we do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the area, then we'll get started. It's so the Niagara River in front of us, the lower part of the Niagara. Uh, it connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario, and in front of us the river is about 180 feet deep. It's as deep as the walls of the gorge are high for the water up at the top there, 180 feet. There are three waterfalls here that make up Niagara Falls. Over my left is the Canadian Horseshoe Fall. That's the largest of the three. Ninety percent of the river goes over the horseshoe, and the daredevils always ride their barrels over the horseshoe falls because no one's ever survived the other two waterfalls. We'll see those waterfalls later on in the tour. They're the American and the Bridal Veil Falls. And today on the tour, we're going to get really close to the Bridal Veil, about ten feet from the bottom. Uh, there used to be a cave behind the Bridal Veil Falls. In September of 1920, there was a large rock fall. The rocks that made up the roof of the cave collapsed, and the cave was destroyed. No one's been behind the waterfall since 1920. Uh, since then, we've been building wooden decks and walkways here in Niagara every year. We have to tear all the decks and walkways down in the fall, because over the winter months, it's not uncommon to see 75 feet of ice form at the base of the falls. The widow of the decks board by board the following spring. It takes us about a month and a half to rebuild all the decks out there. When we get out there, we'll have an opportunity to stop at several viewing decks. The top deck is called the Hurricane Deck. Very wet and windy up on the Hurricane Deck. That's the growling sound of water falling from 175 feet above. Very wet.
the canopy inside of the falls and that's the hurricane falls we are the fireworks at Niagara that's the inside of the falls Oh, 